welcome in, guys. Hope you guys had a good week. Um, yeah, we're just gonna hop into it here. This is, uh, if you're not not familiar with the game, it's the sequel to um, another really, really good RPG I played years and years ago. Um, I mean, this is also a very old game. <laughs> but uh, I, I started playing it and I never, uh, I never finished it. Uh, but anyways, it's a sequel to uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, yeah. I think we're going to make a quick character here, because if I make a custom one, I'm going to just put... <laughs> we put all my points into just one... one slot, and that's not probably good. I remember the first game being really, really hard. Like, way extra hard than you would expect from a game like this, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's go. Hmm. And we're playing, we're playing whatever the... Whatever the balance class is, because there's one that's like super... Yeah, we got hit by something. I think it said we were headed for a planet, but that kind of looked like a sun, which is not good. Primary power. Offline. Hyperdrive. Offline. <laughs> Multiple hull breaches detected. Ooh, the graphics are immediately Offline. reminding me of like, uh, like Half-Life, which is a good thing. Very nostalgic. The Ebon Hawk is adrift in space after a terrible battle. Most of its crew are dead or dying. You lie in the medical room in critical condition. You won't survive long without medical attention. The hyperdrive is damaged. Main power must be restored. The hyperdrive is always damaged. Always. Is it, does anyone ever know of a working hyperdrive? <laughs> Or no one to not break in a Star Wars story at some point. A lone astromech droid returns to this location at any time to skip the prologue. Oh no, we I'm gonna try to do as much as I can in this game. I saw I looked up the playtime. I guess to hundred percent it is only fifty hours, so that's not that bad. So we're gonna definitely try the in the first game, the the side quests are 100% worth it. The writing in this game is, in the, these games, is fantastic. Right, uh, continue. Yes. Journal for quests, okay. You have new quests. To view your quests, open the game menu, default, escape, and look in the journal. This is the cockpit. Let's see what it's wanting us to look at. Yeah, we gotta find the hyperdrive and fix it. This is a bonus mission, we have to find ourselves. And revive us. We can we can do that. Look for a bearded fellow. This room contains the class field cylinder and the communications console. To target one of these objects, move close to it. You will come across many containers, some of which will be locked. The computer spike you just picked up can be used the computer terminal to access functions, such as opening doors. I lose my I lost my pointer for a second. That might be an issue. Um, so I have to run this on display mode for whatever reason. It's an old game. We're just lucky it runs at this point. I've heard people having issues with the first game, I, I think. But uh, we're giving her a go. Um, I kind of want to save my computer spike. I think that's just the tutorial to try to figure it out. Maybe we need it though. <clears throat> this locked, is that why? Beyond this door is the main hold of the Ebon Hawk. 
Yeah. Alright, fine, fine. See if there is an emergency. Fine. <laughs> uh oh. Do -do. Here we go. Slice. I like that term for hacking. Fucking like slicing the system up. Yeah, let's open the door. Hacker man! Fuck yeah. Log out. Items lost. I know my my precious computer spikes. These are very valuable, guys. Um. Ooh. Your security skill is too Impossible. Low Fine, I'll fuck it up. Hell yeah. Didn't didn't stand a chance. Sometimes bashing or blowing open a container will break some of the items in the container. Oh no. But you can use even broken items. They can be turned into useful components at a workbench. So you can you can break items if you bash things up, and that's kinda realistic. That's neat. I don't remember that at all from the first game. Do, 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 do. You can hear a banging noise coming from the other side of the door to the storage compartment, but the door is sealed shut and cannot be opened from the outside. Hmm. Maybe we'll we'll see our other options here. This old woman appears to be dead. There is a key card on the body that looks like it opens a locker somewhere. Can't revive her. <clears throat> I can't remember if that lady... She's definitely familiar to me. I think she's in only in this game. Uh, I, I won't spoil it. I, I, I know very little. I, I played... Barely any of this game before, so. But I just remember her being a focal point. I don't even remember what her name is, so there's <laughs> that tells you anything. Yeah, let's try to slice this. Security doors. <clears throat> just open all the doors. Stable door security, yeah. Open this one. You can hear no. a noise coming from the other side of the door to the storage compartment. This blast door is magnetically sealed and cannot be opened. Damn. Okay. I guess we didn't try to open this one. There we go, okay. If you need help exploring the Evan Hawk, access the map screen by pressing M. This lift will take you to the outer hull of the Evan Hawk, where you will find many parts and lines to use for accessing and repairing the hyperdrive. Use the lift controls to go up. Well let's let's let's, let's explore every little nook and cranny here, see what What's going on? This is the medical. This room. us? I think it is. We can't look up or down, but you are in critical condition. You will need a med pack to be stabilized. Um, did I not acquire a med you pack? Are in critical condition. I guess I didn't. It's over there, though. If there would be a med pack. It'd be in there. I think. Yeah. Three. Medpack can stabilize your condition. Yes, Success. treat us. You are stabilized. To recover fully, you will require the medical facilities at the Paragus mining station. But you are not in any danger we're going? of dying from your wounds right now. Good to know, Siri. Good to know. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, sword. This is the utility lift. 
still just looking for the garage. No, we're looking for the hyperdrive. Locked. Okay. Oh, hello. To other characters is much like using the computer console in the cockpit. Scroll through your response options or move the mouse cursor, and then click to select a response. Note that some responses may influence how other characters react to you, so choose carefully. Furthermore, certain skills, powers, and attributes may modify what choices you have or how successful you are with those choices. Your choices matter. That's the best part. Three CFD is malfunctioning. You can fix him by using a part. Luckily, you have already found one. Hell yeah. If you repair three CFD, he can join your party and assist you in repairing the ship. Joy squad, let's go. Success. You have fixed three CFD. Now he will join your party. Ooh, beep, 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 bop, bop. What's up, dude? Alright, is droid language a real language as well? What was the other language I was surprised that is real? This is kind of a dope, uh, this is basically the tutorial I'm if you gathering. A I like it though. I don't remember there being, um, maximum inventory or anything. So might as well just grab everything. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is that? These droids will make for excellent target practice. Use Ooh. the weapon from this container to attack the droids. You can equip a weapon from the equip screen to open the equip screen. Right. Um. Yes. So you, you left click, left click to attack, and then I, you pre I'm pretty sure you load up this little bar with uh, actions. It's a bit, di it's a bit different from the first game. Um, I remember the first game played a lot like World of Warcraft. I prefer that, but uh, yeah, it's not, it's not so bad. Uh, then. You can choose to, which I think I'm gonna do. Just to make sure we're loaded up on all the right things here. Or it, it automatically pauses. Can you kill stuff? It's nice. Oh, that's fine. I don't need to open that again, I don't think. I think I understand what's going on. Let's see what else is down here. Door is magnetically sealed. Boing. This is the main hold. Um. This is the main hold. Excuse me. This is the cargo hold. Alright. Let's try the lift. Our robot guide this was talking up the lift. Let's go outside, I guess. Although I'm pretty sure the hyperdrive is going to be inside.
Ooh. Look at all the stars. It's really pretty. Yeah, let's see what we can do out here. This is the port side of the Ebon Hawk. The bubbles ahead indicate mines that you've detected automatically mm -hmm. with your and it teaches how to skill. Some mines require higher awareness. Deactivate mines. Very useful. Mines carefully. They will blow up and damage you if you get too close. You can use your demolition skill to either disable or recover these mines. Recovering mines requires a higher demolition skill than disabling them, but you get to keep the mine, which you can then use to set as a trap for enemies or break down into components at a workbench. I kind of remember if you try to recover the mine and it fails, like it has a higher chance to fail. But we're gonna just, you know, we're gonna try to keep them. Again, I don't think that there's any maximum storage at least there I don't remember there being one in the first game so might as well describe everything you can use the explosive device in this missile to blow open the engine room door inside the Evan Hall. this will give you access to the hyperdrive after you plant a mine back away quickly, was this it so that you do not take damage quad lasers So I guess we had we probably had to come outside to get the explosives to um blow open the door she was saying. This is the starboard side of the Ebon Hawk. This open hatch has some parts that will be useful for getting main This busted engine port has some needed parts for the Ebon Hawk's hyperdrive. Take the parts here back down below to get main power restored. We just scavenging the shit out of this hunk of junk. These exposed wires control the door to the starboard dormitory. Oh, the wow. door is currently sealed, but you can override it from here. Override. Success. The door is opened. You can now access the starboard dormitory through the garage. Mm, the garage. I, I I remember going there. Yeah. So I'm. It was a good choice to come out here. Sir, you're way in my way. Please continue to move your... Scoot your boot. Alright. You can use this lid to take you back inside the oven. Yes, yes. Go inside. Um... Yeah, we're immediately presented with the one that says this is the engine room. blow it up, yeah. This is where we need to finish the mission. Uh, okay, it just does it this after a second. The starboard engine is badly damaged. Fixing it won't be possible until after docking with the Paragus mining station. The port engine is shut down, but appears intact. Well, here's a hyperdrive. The hyperdrive is suffering badly. You won't be able to make the jump to light speed until it is fully repaired, and you do not have the needed equipment here on the Ebon Hawk. However, you should be able to rig the hyperdrive to restore primary power and bring the port engine online. This will allow you to dock with the Paragus mining station for full repairs. Sick. Yeah, let's rig that shit up. Success. The hyperdrive is online. Primary power is restored. Only one step remains. Return to the galaxy map in the cockpit and travel to Paragus. Alright, it looks like we did it. I think we, uh... Pretty sure... Well, we did open something else, right? This is the 
let's just make sure we don't miss anything. Like I said, the side content is really fun in these games. This blast door is magnetically sealed and cannot be opened. This is the cargo hold. I definitely already went in there. It's engine room. Uh oh my cat's meowing at the wall again. That always means that there's a bug. Holy shit, guys. There was a big-ass spider. I'm talking like this big. That this little laugh worried me about when I was sleeping. Do a quick bug check. Not really seeing any. I think maybe she's just wanting to play. Anyways. Uh, did I not go into solo mode? Do you wish to turn solo mode on? Yes. Okay, I see. Maybe, maybe not. This is the garage. To access the area beyond this door, you will have to be in solo mode. Click the solo mode button at the bottom right of the screen. I'll solo mode. In solo mode. Move. While in solo mode. Security computer. Oh. I see. Then it wants us to go... Did it want us to move him? C or three C F E to the security computer. Okay. Um, if we need to switch to him, how do we? How do we do this? Go to solo. Yes. I think that was it, right? Hey, yeah. Interesting. It just like phased us through the door. What the fuck? Am I about to like. Yeah, there's just a giant ass hole in the floor. That's not safe. These sparking wires connect to the trigger mechanism for the inner and outer garage doors. You can open and close the doors from here. You can't open the inner garage door without depressurizing the rest of the oven hot. Fuzzy! You How you need doing? To close the outer garage door. How you been? Do you want to do Welcome in. Else here? We playing them oldies. The golden oldies. You ever played these games? The first one is so good. Probably one of the best games I've ever played. I tried to play this. I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I I did kind of mess up my sleep somehow, so I like slept most of the day. But uh, we're here, we're alive, feeling good. Nice, nice and rested. Uh, maybe a bit too much, but <laughs> yeah, you're a big fan of them. Hell yeah. Uh, so we can't open the door because it's depressurized. But how how's your day? This is how you been? With a workbench, you can break down objects in your inventory into components. You can then use the components to create repair kits, weapons, armor, and upgrades. Because right. of the damage to the Ebon Hawk, this workbench has limited functionality. You can still use it to create a repair kit, which you can use to repair yourself. Use the workbench to break down the items you've found into components. Then use the components to create a repair kit. Well, I have high hopes for the rest of this game because this 
tutorial is actually pretty good. I don't know why, but I'm like really enjoying it. <laughs> Oh, heck yeah. Ah! <laughs> Go for glory! <laughs> that shit. Oh man, I looked up what footy was. Is it not rugby? Is it different than rugby? I was, I was very confused. Uh, how do we fix ourselves? Bait item. I don't really think it's that needed that we do that anyway. Repair? Hmm. That's fine. We've uh we've completed this level with I don't know how long whoever's watching has been watching, but uh yeah, we're just we're just exploring now. This blast door is magnetically sealed and cannot be cuz like all the side quests, like every every part of the first game that was in the game had it had a, some kind of story behind it and it was worth exploring and this is kind of a in today's standards it's like a shorter game so it's really fun. So there's di what I'm gathering there's different versions of footy and or rugby or it's an interchangeable word it's confusing my poor puny american brain can't compute <laughs> all right can we leave now this is weird we so we have to go over here and open the door for ourselves Yeah. And then it just kind of like yeets us through the door? No. To access the area beyond this door, you will have to use solo mode. Default. Click the solo mode button at the bottom right area of the screen. While it's open. Access security doors. Oh, we gotta close the outer garage door? I don't remember opening that. Helps to read. That's not my strong suit. Did we do it? A. E. Oh, it's like a... That's... Okay. It didn't have us do this when we came in, but it's like a two-door situation. Soccer, Australian football, yeah, I saw like Australian football, rugby rules, or football rules, rugby league, rugby union, sevens, what the fuck, but it's, is it all just, it's all just rugby with altered rules, pretty much, is that what that's about, uh, so now we want to open, No. What? Maybe that's what we need to do now? This is eh? the Fuck! Okay, this one's the outer. Why did it not let us do it? Open outer garage door. To open outer garage door, close the inner one. Right, okay. Now open the other one. Did we do it? I don't know if we need this guy specifically. What's his name? Shit. Can't tell. T3M4. It's our main main boy. I don't know if we need him specifically to continue the mission or not. I think we Yeah, we made a full circle. I think we could try one one door again. Door These magnetically magnetic. sealed ones, I don't think it's possible to open at all. I'd be wrong. Hear a noise from the other side of the door. 
anyone knows, let me know. Not afraid of backseating. Please help. Please help a streamer. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh, where's our star map? Galaxy map. You can now plot a course to the Paragus mining station. Oh no, they're all very Not different games. Left -click on the planet to select it. I'll take your word and for it. -click on the I'd love to, button. like, go to a rugby game. I did, when I lived in the UK for a while, I think I could have. Not really sure. I, th I think they play rugby there. I think. Seems like a thing they would do. Oh, okay. We're doing it. We're traveling. Damn, look at this cutscene. Did that old lady wake up? Trying to sabotage us? Oh shit, the fucking Terminator. He's already blasting. Got a black screen, okay. Did we die? There we are. But Lazi, so is is what's the most popular version of footy, I guess? Awake. And is it the most popular sport or is, no, it's probably soccer, right? Because us Americans think or always hear that soccer is the most popular sport in all of the world. Makes sense. Probably the cheapest game to play, all you need is a ball. It doesn't even have to be like an actual soccer ball. Alright, can we wake up anyone else? We can click on our tank for some reason. No, we don't need to heal ourselves. Yeah, we got full health. Alright. Yeah, we alright, we can come back and heal ourselves. I gathered that much, but thank you, game. Impossible! We don't have anything to bash through there with. Mm. This game, the graphics look actually really good. Like, yeah, they're um, real edgy and stuff, but uh, the graphics are really clear. I'm actually kind of surprised. It was a bit like foggy and stuff in the in the ship when we were trying to repair it. But this this is like super clean looking. Very cool. Lab station? Eh, we don't really want to craft anything right now. Mm -hmm. Um... I have to open it with this. Oh, or not. I was expecting to have to open it with that little... Computer. Chemicals, okay. We make bombs. I think you can make grenades, right? Probably. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. Medical logs. Hmm, nah. I guess we could we could have looked at their lifespans, but that's not really that important to me right now. Ooh, we can get a plasma torch to help us cut through doors. That's cool. Mm 
Or do we have to now? Damn, look at our kicks. Look at us go. We're not damage damaging the door at all. Oh, okay, we need a plasma torch. Um, do we have one? Yeah, we should probably save the game. Well, that's a good sign as well. Um, the game hasn't crashed <laughs> after saving. Seems to be a important point in some games. Likes to crash when you save. Um, all weapons use usable. So, do we have to craft? Uh, we have to craft a torch. It mines grenades. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm not seeing that. Great. Did we miss anything in here? Or maybe we can wake someone else up. At this little terminal. A yeah, tree injury? Medical bay functions. More camera. Unlock door to morgue. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Hell yeah. Let's go. Hacking into the mainframe. Who dis? Looks to be dead, but no sign of what killed her. Hey, plasma torch, let's go. Yeah, she she definitely not dead. Find what you're looking for amongst the dead. I did actually. I found a fucking torch, so I can get out of this shithole. Well, I guess we heard her voice while floating in the in the back to tank. Colto tank. I guess it's a bit different. Yes, I had hoped as much. I slept here too long and could not awaken. It may be I reached out unconsciously, and your mind must have been a willing one. Or perhaps you have been trained for such things. Hey, she, she can invade my mind and fake fake her own death. I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Impressive. Tell me, do you recall what happened? Nope. <laughs> I'm the one asking the questions. Now we'll, we'll just. Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor. So we don't remember a lot. Jedi training, no doubt. Yeah, how does she know I was a Jedi since I don't remember anything really? Your stance, your walk tells me mm. you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry something that weighs you down. I see. I've heard that before about military members. I, I can't tell it myself. But uh, maybe just because I wasn't, like, I'm not I'm not like a 20-year veter veter veteran of uh, the military, but my dad, uh, him, and I've heard multiple other, other people just be able to, like, point out someone's, like, 
the way they hold themselves, like, yeah, they're a military member. Pretty, pretty interesting. Should I order? Yeah, I kind of just want to get off this thing. I do want to... This is like speaking... It's saying like I had a troubled history with the Jedi Order, but I don't really know. So yeah, let's just get off this thing, huh? I do not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the surroundings may provide the answers we seek. The ship we arrived in must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. Oh, right. So... I think we made it to, yeah, we made it to Paragus or whatever, this mining station. I think they took us into the med station. So that's where we're at. <laughs> Why do you think we're together? Yeah, I guess we don't know her at all. So We were attacked once, and I fear our attackers will not give up the hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons, and information, mm. they will find us easy prey indeed. Fair point. There was some reason that our ship was broken. Yeah, I kind of want to know more about like what's ha like what wh who's who's attacking us. Even as I slept, I felt much unrest here. I saw strange visions, minds colored with fear. Now, everything here feels terribly silent. I would find out as much as you can about this place quickly. I fear we will need to depart as suddenly as we arrived. Yeah, should I be aware of anything else? You may wish to extend your search to some clothes, if only for proper first impressions. <laughs> oh, oh, she's sassy. She doesn't like my jumpsuit. I, I'm a bit. I don't know how to feel about that. What? All those people in the med station were. Or the med bay, where we were. Uh, people got killed by sedatives. What the fuck? It sounds like the work of an assassin. Persuade slash intimidate. Damn. Uh, no. I do want to know what happened to them or why they were, were murdered. I do not know. Why did they spare you? Hmm. I guess I, I was just we, we we were very strong. Strong with the force, I believe, somehow. Trained to resist poisons, I guess. Indeed, a Jedi trance could protect one from such poisons. In fact, the sedatives may have been intended to keep you unconscious for some time. It would prove oh, lethal to those untrained. Sorry, I just saw I just saw your message. Curious. Sorry. <laughs> I will be asking I will be asking uh when I feel like there's some uh important option. But uh welcome in. Welcome in. Uh I'm gonna mess your name up. Can I just call you Punk? Yeah, I'm gonna call you Punk if that's all right. What 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 did I miss? What did I miss if I had picked the third one? Yes, yeah, suspiciously seems to know a lot about Jedi that's things. Perhaps we could discuss it at length later on. Now we have other concerns, among them finding our new enemy. <laughs> Maybe when I return, you'll actually answer my question. Bitch. Nah. <laughs> yep. 
Damn, we could threaten her, threaten her life. I don't think that's smart. I leave you to the explorations of this place. Here, I will remain and attempt to center myself. <laughs> ah, okay, she likes to pick on us. I kind of got that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, our decisions, if you guys didn't already know, uh, it's a pretty prominent part of the game. Our uh, decisions during the game uh, will affect our dark or light side alignment. I believe you get special abilities depending. How do I use... How do I use my torch? Emergency Equip the plasma torch. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Hey, yeah. Emergency lockdown overridden. Okay. So these vibe are what? Can I not use it? Why? Oh, is that my offhand technically? That makes sense. These Viber Blades are freaking dope. Like, I wish that they were in more of Star Wars. Uh, I don't know. I know that they're in... They're in the Mandalorian a bit, but they're just like daggers. But basically, from what I understand, they just vibrate very, very, very fast. Heck yeah. Yeah, Punk, so I, I like 100%ed the first game years years ago, and um, yeah, I, I was fully intending magnetically sealed, okay. It's fully intending to 100% um, this, well at least all the story bits, you know. There's collectibles and stuff, it's not that big a deal. So we only have critical strike, oh. What's the best attack right now? Can I look at my attacks? Can we do that? I don't know what they do. I can't remember. Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, yeah, where's my attacks at? I guess we'll just look at the numbers that we do. I think critical attack is probably one of the stronger ones, right? We do want to attack this guy first, though. Damn, we like one-shot him. Let's go. I am playing on easy, by the way, so. I just remember the first, well, I play everything on easy because I'm terrible at games. Why are we stuck in place now? Hello? Uh-oh. Oh, I paused the game. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Oh shit. But yeah, Punk, uh, what... So I assume you've played all the games, huh? Why does it keep blocking me in place? I'm not paused now. Hello? What the hell's happening? Uh, 
I don't know what's what what is going on right now, but I can't move. Um. Did I get paralyzed or some shit? I guess I gotta load, I guess. Damn. I guess I'll try. Yeah, it's the most recent one. Big fan of both the games. Nice. Did you play, um... Do we have our... Torch? Right. Great. <laughs> Alright, bear with me. I'll have to open this up again and run through the conversation, I think. I don't know why it locked me in a place like that. Hopefully that doesn't keep happening. Uh, sorry, I don't know if I completed my thought. Um, did you play the MMO at all? I really like that game, actually. It's, it's a lot of fun. Medical logs. Medical bay functions, right. Unlock the morgue, yes. I zip through this bit. And we'll save before uh, that second fight, or maybe the first one too, because it kind of locked us in, in place the first time. As well. But I think I might have... That was more just me, um... Hitting pause on accident. Find what you're looking for amongst... Yes, I had hoped as... Oh, I guess we can do that third option. I'm not sure which which at which point in this conversation it was though. Oops. We we hit a option and didn't mean to there. Yeah, if you ever get the chance, I would. I think you would really enjoy the MMO. It's a lot like these games, um, just like better. It, I would say better in every single way except for the story. Like, there's so much. Like, it's such a long game and like so many different aspects. I feel like they just kind of. I don't know. Like how these games, they focus completely on the story. Like that is the main point of the entire experience, which is amazing. It's just like lacking in the uh, MMO, but otherwise, it's a very, very good Star Wars game. It's free right now as well. It's been free for a while. I do not the ship. Okay. Let's get through this flipping door. Emergency lockdown overridden. Equipped our weapon, and I'm gonna save.
We like to double save around these parts. Alright. Give this another go. I gotta say, I do miss the combat from the first game. At least how, uh... How you used your attacks. I'm pretty sure it was more like an MMO in the first one. Like, you had an action bar. You hit certain buttons, or you, like, clicked them. Yeah, no, it's locking me in place. I don't... Why? What am I doing here? Work with me, game. Come on. Maybe I change my key binding to move real fast? Uh. Gameplay. Key mapping. Throw it on my arrow keys for now. No, I'm still... Oh, there we go. Is it having trouble loading or some shit? I do not understand. We'll just... We'll roll with this for now. <laughs> No, it's still doing it. Do I have to like exit combat or something? Sorry about this, guys. I'm gonna look this up real fast. See why it would be locking me in a place like this. Like, it seems like it's specifically after fighting things, I get stuck. You have to hold it down for a few seconds, I guess. What? So it says, after battle, when you notice yourself get stuck, simply hold forward and one of the pan camera up. Hammer keys at the same time without letting go for a few seconds. And after a full rotate, full revolution or two, it seems to release you. <laughs> is, this, is this a troll? One, two, three. Let's try backwards, I guess. Yeah, I'm scratching my head too there. What the fuck? Mm. Let's try to put it back. Oops, I think this is wrong. I don't know what those were. This is so annoying. 
Oh, hey. Okay. Well, I'm still stuck. <laughs> Why? What is the issue? Okay, it seems like there's some NVIDIA settings I might have to fix. Okay, it seems like it's a high refresh rate monitor issue, maybe? Something with the graphics? Mm. Well, no, let's keep this. Let's try to turn this off. I could also probably turn off V-Sync, but kind of causes some issues. Damn. Alright, let's try to load again, I guess. It's gonna be a bummer if it keeps doing this to me. I can't believe you've done this. Nope, still stuck. Alright, I guess let me keep reading. Okay, there is a resolution option, but it might be in the main menu. It needs to be 60 hertz. I think it's having a FPS issue with newer... Right. Okay, um... Yes, options, graphics. Resolution. Right, okay. So let's try the 60 hertz. Let's see if that helps. Alright, fingers crossed, guys. Prayers, prayer, hand, prayer hands in the chat if you're still around. I appreciate y'all very much, if that's the case, if you're still here. Y'all the best. Hanging with me. Oh fuck, we missed. Shit. Dang, we kind of sucked that that time there. It's alright. We gotta up our skills. 
There we go. Hey, we're not stuck. All right, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save scum the shit out of this. At least for this section. <laughs> These two fights, because we continually get stuck. I got stuck before. I hope we fixed it. Oh shit. You were ready for me. Those little crab dudes are kind of creepy. Spider droids ish. Hey, look at us go! We're free! Hell yeah. Thank you, Reddit. Reddit is the best for stuff like this. Alright. Let's fucking play the Vigi game, huh? I better save. <laughs> Just in case. I did have a worry, or I kind of knew. Or I had a hunch, I guess. Just the word. This game would have an issue. Because it's so old. So old. This is the exit, but it is sealed. Strange. In my visions, it was open. Um, hello, madam? I guess I can't talk back to her. Hmm, okay. We gotta find a terminal to open that shit. Here you are, beauty. Um, can we unlock this? Hey, look at us go. I wonder if that's because I I went with the balanced the balanced class. And and the uh did the quick character as well. So I think we got some security skills, which is pretty good. Uh remote cameras, no. I don't think that this is the... That's the panel we're looking for. I don't think so. So it didn't have open anything. There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. There's dead energy? Kira, explain. Can you not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. Cast aside what you see, and instead reach out with your perception. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive, but the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel, echoing outwards. Uh, okay. Why didn't we do that before? <laughs> we killed four of, four of the droids. When the power is triggered, you should save your game. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, demolitions. Yeah, uh, seems seems like being able to uh, take care of security stuff and mines is a really good good thing to have. Um, well, I guess we triggered our precognition or whatever. Let's go ahead and save. 
I don't know when it or how to tell when that's going to be triggered again. It's interesting that that's a part of the game, though. I don't remember that from the first one at all. <laughs> now we'll save our grenades. Ah, you hear it. It is fate, but it is there. What am I hearing? What the fuck are you talking about? I feel strange. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. Ah. Uh. It's just the force. It's been almost a decade? What? Since we used the force? I guess, yeah, because we were trying to hide from... Inquisitors and such, huh? Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Ah, uh, okay. It's that, like, God reset thing. Like, we were... We were an amazing Jedi, but our powers have been taken from us, or we hadn't used them for a long time, so we gotta re retrain them. Uh, we can try security. Nice. Oh, we got stealth. I'm probably not gonna be stealthing much unless I have to. Yeah, but it seems like we fixed our locked in place I issue. Watch, and then I get locked in place immediately. Yo, get one shot, noob. I'm bragging on easy mode. Let me, let me, let me enjoy myself, all right? <laughs> Oh, uh, Punk, would you say this game's easier than the first one? The first one was, like, really hard. Even on easy, I remember it being pretty hard. I ended up having to go full tank, wear the heaviest armor. Put all my points into Beyond Health and such. Door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. But you have nothing to fear from this one, and he might yet prove useful. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure we can't go through this, right? Find a terminal somewhere. Crack that door open. Damn, one-shotting stuff feels cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. We can level up. Should probably do that. No. Not auto. Okay, skills. I think we're going to continue, yeah, computer use. Hmm. 
injury. There's some demolitions in there so we can deal with the mines that Punk so graciously warned us about. Uh, we'll do another tree injury, I think. Maybe security. Pair not needed that much. Persuade, eh. Awareness, eh. Stealth. I think we'll stick to these ones. Okay, we, we used all of our stuff. Alright. Guess so we can see stun droid. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good one. Um, oh, we gotta remove it. So what all do we have? We have... Heal. Can we do that one? No. Oh. Maybe I have to double click it. What? Hmm. Oh, you gotta be level 6. Okay. I see. Where's Aura? Plus two bonus defense, that sounds good. Okay, that increases our speed and defense, that sounds... That sounds a bit better than that first one. That one, I'm not sure what that one really does. Shields for six points of damage. I feel like the defense that I, I would get from the speed one is a bit better. Just thinking. Uh, what's this? Ooh, I never like sacrificing health to do things. Never feels that good. I like that. <laughs> So it only works on people. We're fighting a bunch of droid bunch of droids right now. I know that there's an ability that heals you while you attack. I really want that one. I just happened to see that in a video. I was like looking at what the classes were in the game and they were talking about it. Not sure where it's at though. Or even what it looks like. So we'll we'll find it at some point. I'm sure. That's done. Where was that at? Yeah, I'm not really looking for stuns. Or attacks. I think I'm gonna try to go more tank oriented. So yeah, so far that speed one sounds pretty good. Some kind of fear. So we can shock. I, I don't think we want to. We're, we're going to go more for uh, as much light side as we can. But uh, yeah. Ooh, 
Ooh, what? Can we... Th is it only lightsaber that, that we can throw? That's kind of dope. Or can we throw our Viber Blade too? Okay, we're, we're definitely going to get that at some point. I think I'm going to try to... <laughs> Try to make sure I have a lightsaber before, just just in case. I don't want to. I don't want to waste points. I don't. I don't know if you can re rearrange your points for free. We can drain force. It's like our mana, I'm pretty sure, kind of. Okay. So from these, I'm going to go with to speed because it seems like it gives us speed and defense which is pretty good sounds good to have there we go all right Do we do it? How do we tell if it's on? Oh, okay. We just do it out of. Oh shit. Well, that's annoying. We'll 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 definitely be saving that for right before combat. Why does it blur like that? That's annoying. Like a shitty, <laughs> kind of a shitty effect. just have to deal with it. It's alright. It just kind of hurts my eyes a bit. Not gonna lie. Uh, huh. We're still trying to figure out how to open that. Emergency lockdown is in effect. Turbo lifts have been sealed to contain. Oh, how to open that other door over there. It's like blocked by fe force fields and shit. Take one last look around here. Seems like there could be maybe terminal we could use. Mm. Seeming like we need to go this way though. Yeah, I think I'll just gonna deal with the uh I think I'll have to do it like this, huh? Nice, it doesn't blur us in combat, so that's good. Is this arrow going up, meaning, uh... I'll have to, I'll have to look next time. I'm pretty sure that means that our force power is still happening. No other place to go here? code to cancel lockdown. Hmm? 
What does the switch do? Okay. Hey, That's what we needed. Heck yeah. Nice. We didn't have to go up there. That's fine. Totally fine. Hello. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? Uh, no, I just haven't been able to find some clothes, sir. How rude. <laughs> you rude right back to him, I think. Yeah, you got a name or just a big mouth? Atten. Atten Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. Only mild burns. That's good. Yeah, what happened here? You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. Half-naked miner? Oh, me. <laughs> Bounty on... Well, I'm assuming me. Don't know much about it. Maybe the exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. I just want to see if it's Order 66, if that's the canon we're working with, what happened to the Jedi, yeah. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. So it seems like, yeah, Order 66. And then Jedi Civil War... Maybe not, actually. No. Those are totally different things, I think. So there was a civil war, and then he lost, apparently. The Jedi lost, probably. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. Okay, yeah. Where have you been? Yep. Sith versus the Jedi, and the Jedi lost. Let's get a little refresher on what happened between Revan and Malak. Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. Hmm. Figures. Sounds like a very Sith thing to do. Yeah, I, I kind of remember Revan maybe saving the Jedi? I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know women. Ah, sexism. It's the worst.
Yeah, I do remember Revan being a man. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. Okay, fair enough, I guess. The powerful woman king. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm enjoying the backstory. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Fair enough. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? Yeah, did, you, did this guy not see anything? From my beautiful view in the security cage? Look, I heard some explosions, some emergency alarms, some toxic gas pouring out of the vents. Maybe none of them survived whatever happened. And if they're all gone... Look, hey, let me Toxic have an gas. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Always with the poison gas. Very, very Star Wars. All right, sure. What's the plan? This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field, and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship, and then we fly out of here. Might be able to fly out without him. Now nah, we probably need all the help we can get. Yeah. Free him and if he tries anything funny, I'll fucking murder him. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Yeah, I still don't trust him. Stay ahead of me. No sudden moves. All right, here we are. Now, this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated, so it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships usually freighters. Thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack. The console's ours. Now, all we need to do is reactivate the turbo list, cancel the emergency lockdown, and- Hey! There's a hacker man. Nice. If there's any more bad news, I'm going to be violent. <laughs> That's kind of funny. This system's been severed from the main hub after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system. It's been cut clean. Shit. Yeah, was this on purpose? That's my guess. Cut off the console specifically from remote and sever the hub. Doesn't get any more deliberate than that. These are pretty much the same options. So. I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Yeah, can we reach someone on the comms? Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comms all yours. Oh no, we gained dark side points. Probably from being sassy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be try to be as good as I can, but I'm still gonna do like 
I like to play play games where in or sorry in games where you can choose what to do. I like to choose what I would actually do in that situation. Like if I was actually in the in the game, you know, like if the game was my life. Sometimes you gotta be sassy. It's fun. Talking to someone in the hangar bay, maybe? Is anyone there? <gasps> it's a droid! Do we luck out? Yes, please follow my instructions, droid. Yes, can you unlock the turbo lifts, my friend? So I take that as a no. Is there an em emergency hatch somewhere? Yeah, we can take a little bit of a risk rather th rather than being trapped in here. We have no other options, really. So let's do it. Let's do this risky plan. Oh no, he sounds really wary. <laughs> wary droid noises. Hmm. Alright. Don't mind me. I'm going to use the bathroom real fast. I'll be right back. Right, sorry about that. We're back. Let's open this thing. Hmm. All right. Let's see. I like to explore. Um like one area before we continue. That that looks promising over there, but we'll see what else is around here. Also, oh, hello. Really don't know the plan 
Oh damn, our shock thing's really good. Nice. <laughs> I mean, it, it does make sense. You know, shocking a droid very, be very effective. Yeah, we need explosives to open that. Alright. Well, there's enemies down that way. Maybe we can just not go there. Kind of want to get off this thing before more poison gases <laughs> pumped out. Although, part of me does want to go explore down there. Like I said before, pretty much all the parts of these games are there for a reason. So, there's probably something useful we could get. So let's do it. Freaking Terminator droid rolling around. Shocking the shit out of everything. Go. Not scared of nothing. Not scared of anything, I think, is more proper <laughs> English. Uh. So, as a droid, do I use repair kits instead of health packs? That would make sense, right? Ooh, I think I remember... I did play a little bit of this game. I, th I think I, re I remember coming down here. For some reason. Probably just... F following... I was gonna say, another reason... Another good reason that we came down here is because when there's enemies, it's usually a good sign that something important is there. Just in every game, pretty much. Yeah, we got a data pad. Read that later if we need it. Yes, I think you can read them later. In your in your like collections or something. Yeah, I th yeah, I think that's what we came down here for. Seems like that's it. Okay, it says nothing in quotations. When when enemy when enemies or people don't have anything on them. Oh shit, the spider droids are coming. Alright, let's get back up here and... Oh. We weren't close enough to shot. Do we have, like, shock ammo? I don't think so. Uh, did we get a mine? Might have. We did. Hell yeah. Skladoosh. Open sesame? Oh, hello. Another droid friend. Make sure we get all the loot for ourselves before we, we wake him up. <laughs> before he like, wakes up and starts hacking us. Maybe. It's kind of belt.
Irreparable damage. Okay, interesting. Interesting that they just put him there. That's alright. Magnetically sealed. I think magnetically sealed is just uh, this game's way of saying you cannot unlock this at all. But I'm gathering. Alright, can we blow this popsicle stand now? Damn. They really fucked up this security system. Oh, okay, we only need one part, which we, we got from going down where we went. So emergency, emergency control stuff. Now we don't need a diagnostic. Uh, let's let's contact ourselves here. I guess the comms are broken. Okay, this this requires a spike, so it's probably important. Let's try it. Okay, so we have. I guess we know where exits are now. I'm not really sure what all we're supposed to do here. I thought, I mean, I assume we're supposed to open some kind of door, but. Oh, nice. Here we go. Let's open these doors. That took a little bit of digging. Alright, let's go explore that. Let's see this. Yeah, we're getting in, getting into the meat of the game now. Feeling really good. So much the nostalgia for the first game. <laughs> Cannot fucking wait to get like lightsabers and shit. Like, e even just this feels so good. For such an old game, it holds up so well. It's just so fun. Controls really well. It looks pretty neat. Stylized, you could say. But I mean, the gra graphics aren't terrible. It's like really clean, old, old style. It reminds me of like Half Life, kind of, I think I said before. Yeah. Such a good game. Really chill game, because it's like turn based, kind of. Or can be if you want. You can just pause whenever. I want to see if you, I regenerate health. Ooh, we got some fucking armor. Nice. I don't think we can we can use armor as a droid, but it'll be good. Oh, are we going back to where we were? 
No, this is somewhere different. Ooh, where are we at? Can we undo these force fields? Okay, no way to open it. Fair enough. Over here. Emergency systems is what opened the last one. Open emergency hatch, nice. Okay. Okay. Shit. So is that stupid droid of yours gonna come through or not? Uh, apparently not. I think it died. I mean, it's not my droid, and I think it's dead, Well, I'm so. beginning to think I was a little better off in my... Hey, what do you know? <laughs> Cargo cylinder came through. WSG. Not sure what that means, but, uh... Assuming it's a it's a greeting. <laughs> Welcome then, how are you? Stano? Can I call you Stano? How you doing? Yeah, we're just we're just feeling out the game. It's been a very long time since I played the first one. And I'm just getting getting in the swing of it. Are you a big fan of these games? Good right now. Well that's good. You play through uh, both the games extensively? Did you like 100% of them? They're so fun. So much fun. So, so like, probably one of some of the best thought out games, I think. The story is so good. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. If we got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Yeah, I think all we opened was the emergency hatches. Wait, wait, don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Hmm, well, I mean, do you have a better plan? If it's dangerous, I'm sending you. <laughs> nah. Yeah, it's our only You're way. You're either really brave or really crazy, or both. All right, yeah, a little bit I'll of try both. Try to monitor things from up here, and be careful. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids, so don't be playing hero too hard. Uh, not that I care what happens to you or anything. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Oh, you don't care. It's okay to care, dude. It's fine. But, uh, Stano, did you play, uh, did you only play light side, or did you do both on both games? Are you a Sith or, or a Jedi at heart? I've always liked the, the Jedi more. Although I do, I do, I need to go back and play the first one, um, and eventually I'll replay this one as a Sith. It is fun. Evil playthroughs are pretty fun sometimes. They have like usually e evil options are a lot more uh, witty and entertaining. It just takes a lot for me personally to like just be evil for a really long time while playing a game. <laughs> Yes, it's it's okay to be concerned. I'll keep the comm link open. I may be able to guide you through the tunnels from up here. Don't know if the signal will hold if you get too deep, though.
Hmm, I think we, we got some gloves. Yeah, let's design. Can we not? Uh, can we not use medium armor? Must be. What we got with these. This is just like passive stealth that we're harder to find while walking around. How do you switch weapons? Weapon slots? Hmm. We'll get to that when we get to it. Alright, uh, where are we going? I don't think we went this way yet. Although I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be going down, but it might still be through here. Yeah, that's an airlock. It's not where we wanted to go. We need to go in the tunnels. Somehow. Was it was it this thing? Yeah, this was locked before. Do I have to use the console again? Maybe. Give it a shot. I would go down to the mining tunnels, but I don't know how to open it. Maybe we don't. Let's let's try this other tunnel. Don't remember there be remember there being a dead end, but I don't I don't I don't know if it was a locked door or what. I think yeah it was, huh? No, there's just no door. There's the escape pods, I think, but they're like not usable. It's empty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guess we'll just check everything. I don't think there's anything to do on that console. What did this say again? Emergency lockdown is in effect. Turbo lifts have been sealed. It can't be opened by porch. Do we go out kind of where we came in? Maybe there's another. Another door that way. The last place we haven't checked. This way. Yeah, there was. I do remember. Oh wow, yeah. I kind of totally forgot we were still in the same area. Did we go this way? Mining tunnels, hell yeah, let's go. Loud and clear, got gotcha. you. Guess not loud and clear, it says some static. <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> no. Yeah, 
Just alert me if you see anything. Will do. And be careful down there. Do my best. A little bit scared. Hey, we finally got some gear. Hopefully we can use them. Oh, yeah, there's like shields. I don't remember how you're supposed to use them. Safety harness, does that give us some sort of buff uh, demolition? It's probably better than stealth, in, in my opinion. I'm not, not really going for a stealth build. Yeah. Find oh, look at us. Supplies? Yeah, we fucking kitted out now. Yeah, there's some kind of energy shield. Yeah, it's like a military issue energy shield, except it's designed to protect the miners against lasers and heat. It should work against the droid mining lasers. It won't last forever, and certainly not against multiple laser hits. But it may buy you some time if you get ambushed by a battalion of droids. Hmm, yeah, comforting. How does how's this thing work? <laughs> Just equip it on your wrist and then you can activate it like a med pack. Again, it won't uh -huh. last forever, so make it count. Yeah, any other advice? Uh Any advice on taking out the droids? Well, these are construction models. They shoot like a moisture farmer militia. Since they rely on ranged weapons, get in close with a melee weapon and start bashing them. In close combat, the guy with the vibro blade has the edge over the guy with the rifle, droid or not. Otherwise, just drill them from a distance. If they're not shielded, that is. Ah. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be sneaking in this, in this playthrough. So... Sorry if that's what you wanted to see. <laughs> Stealth's not really my my style in games, if I have the choice. Yeah, anything else? There's gotta be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence. Right. Terminals, terminals, and more terminals. I don't hate it. Makes sense. Need to get the controls, you know? Let me see, has this been, does it have autosaves? Doesn't seem to. Uh, quick save was a four. So give, give me two saves. Doesn't seem like it. That's okay. We'll still just keep doing that and then we'll double save at the end of our playthrough. Or at the end of our sessions, you know? end of the streams, just in case. It's kind of obnoxious to keep saving. Okay. Probably something valuable over here. Let's... Watch where you step. I'm picking up a lot of sonic mines the down there. Don't run unless you have to. It makes them harder to spot. If you have any skill with demolitions, you might be able to recover them and use them against the droids. That is, if the mines don't get you first. If you have survey gear or a safety harness, put them on. They'll make spotting and disarming the sonic charges a little easier. Yeah, I think the belt that we're wearing uh, ups our demolitions a bit, so it's making it easier. Hmm. 
Understood. Yeah, let's pick this shit up. Pretty sure that they can... Skill's too low. Can we disarm it? Okay, cool. Uh, probably can't pick that one up either. around the area. Hello. Alright. Well, unpause. Do our speed to get our defense. Guys, ain't no issue. I need to. <laughs> I would like to figure out if I can turn off this blur effect. I'm gonna put that in my notes real fast. What is it? What's the ability for speed? Burst of speed. That'd be super nice, because then we could speed around everywhere, make everything that much faster, without hurting my eyeballs. It's quite taxing on my eyes for whatever reason. Yeah, let's make sure we put this on. Can we not use it? There we go. It takes like half our force, but we babies, so it's fine. This guy's kind of big. Uh, we'll attack him first. Seems like he might have a bit more armor or something. Nope, we one-shot him. <laughs> it's fine. I feel really powerful. Oh shit, are you healing, motherfucker? Focus the healer. Got him. Was there two of those floaty boys? No. I swear there was. I swear I seen it. Damn, we should probably use a med pack, huh? Ah, no, we're, our health is gonna recharge. Okay, uh, we can level up though. Let's stick to. I think we really just wanted computers, not stealth. Computers, uh, security, and treat injury. Let's get those to full first. Let's get. Uh, Trying to get this all up to five first. Five. We oh, yeah, got computers. Oh, demo as well, huh? Probably. How many do we have? Five. So we could do. We need to up demo. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to treat injury a bit more, I think, than demolitions. We'll do that. So it looks like it's going to take more. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Yes, we need this because we have... 
We have some medium armor that we need to equip. Two weapon fighting. Oh, you know what? We can see now what the best ability is to do. I wanted to check the abilities. It increases the threat range of melee attacks? What does that mean? Yes, it has a chance to stun as well. Okay. Okay, you suffer penalties for using that one, so it's probably not ideal. Yeah, that one has penalties on it also. So I think we've been using the correct... the right... Uh, Attack. That one seems to have no penalties. Oh, this feat lowers defense by five. So it lowers by five. That's like six total lowered. This one only lowers by three, it looks like. So I guess we go for power attack. We'll try that for a bit, huh? All right, let's see what all we can get here. So we can get medium armor. We don't want to, we're not going to, we're going to stay one handed because I, I like the aesthetic of it. N never, never really liked dual wielding. I think it looks kind of goofy. And, uh, I don't really like the saber staff in this game. It doesn't look that good. Let's go for the classic, just single saber. Okay, that just gives us some skill ups. Not really what we're looking for. Yeah, more skill ups, more skill. More skill. We're not going to be using blasters. Weapon focus lightsaber. We don't have a lightsaber yet, so be all right. Plus one attack bonus to melee weapons. Hmm. We could do that. I think the armor right now is a bit better, though. We already have all these, I guess. Dueling. So we'll probably go for that as our weapon specialization ability. Regenerate force points, that could be useful. There's some better stuff before that, though. Yeah, more skill stuff. Yeah, skill. Dual strike. pretty good. We'll probably get that at some point. Uh, you do more damage when you're attacking the same target as a party member. It's very important. Some skill ups for lightsaber at some point. Melee weapons, similar. 
Yeah. Unarmed special specialist. This is this is PC. Yes, yes, yes. And welcome in, Johnny. How are you doing? How are we doing? Just looking at my skills. Uh, just unlocked. Just th this is the like second time leveling up. Just at the beginning of the game here. Um, I think we're gonna go for medium armor. Can we do that? Yeah. So we have some gloves that we want. We want to put on. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Uh, just getting a grasp of the game again. Um, I played the first one years and years ago. And then I started this one right afterwards, but I was a bit burnt out. So I only got like, not very far at all. <laughs> not very far. Uh, so yeah, just getting a grasp on the game. Uh, I assume, so I, su I assume most people that are going to be clicking in to watch this game ha have already played it since it's like such an old game. So like only only people that had pre previous knowledge of it had played it before. Is that is that is that your case? Yeah, you have. Okay. Did you like a hundred percent both the games? Train force. What did we want? I guess we could... Here's a question. Does throw lightsaber work with the Vibrasword? Oh yeah, I, I... I know that they put it on phones, at least the first one. I did play the first one for a bit on my phone. It was not ideal, but it was pretty cool. Like an entire, like, such a in-depth game to have on your phone. <laughs> Yeah, do you, would you know, does just throw lightsaber work um, with the Vibra Sword? Because I don't have a lightsaber yet, but that'd be pretty cool. Force push, shock. Comes out on the Switch today, actually. Nice. Yeah, I figured it was a good time to play this game because the Star Wars hype is pretty, pretty, uh... It's, it's happening, you know? <laughs> Like, uh, Kenobi, and this, yeah, this coming out on the, uh, on the Switch. Seemed like a good time. Uh, fear, no. What did we want? There was something... Stun. I think maybe there was a force field. Yeah, the remake, I am so fucking excited. Can you imagine? Can you, like, oh, it's so exciting. I wonder, wonder if they're gonna change the the combat. I kind of don't want them to. What are your thoughts, dude? I, yeah, I'm very, very excited. I don't know if I'll be playing it on stream because I feel like it's gonna be like really saturated, but I'm definitely gonna play it. Definitely. Yeah, there was some some defensive skill I wanted to get. Maybe not. Oh, it was this one. Yeah, we'll grab this. Hey, thank you for the follow, Johnny. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, did you play? Are are you a are you a Sith? Are you a Jedi? I'm definitely more of a Jedi kind of person. Although I do enjoy some evil playthroughs, which I will be doing at some point. Oh shit! Oh, it's just a grip. Okay, it's for some crafting, which I probably won't be doing. Shit, can we go through that area? Do we have to go through there? So it looks ominous. It looks bad. Like it will kill us. <laughs> Dark side. Dark side has the cookies. So 
So, hey, I don't blame you. Yeah, the dark side options in games are a lot more fun sometimes. But my first playthrough of games, I like to play... Um, like, if I was in that situation, what would I do, you know? So that's what we're doing. That's what we will be doing. Hey, watch out. That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. That steam will cook the skin off your bones. If you can find a mining energy shield, hey, switch I'm, it on. That it should protect you against the heat if you move quickly enough. That's a good compliment. Thank you. I, I love it when people are like, yeah, I feel comfortable here. That's all I want, man. That's all I want. That's all I'm striving for. It's a nice place for people to hang out. Enjoy some older games is what I've been uh, kind of gravitating towards because one, like they're just really good for the most part. Yeah, okay, you play the same as me. Yeah, first time. Yeah, for the most part, like older games, one, there's not a lot of people playing it. And two, it's just cool to like go back and play all the games that I had either like skipped over or... Um, for the most part, just skipped over. Like, there's so many games to play. But, uh... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You get it. You got me. I got you. What do you say? If you find any mining energy shield, switch it on. Okay, we gotta use the shield to run through there, huh? Probably turn on my speed, even though I hate... Do you know how to... Is there a way to get rid of the blur effect on this? Because it really, like, bothers my eyes. Do speed. Do our shield. Let's go. Oh, oh. Right. Can we recover these now? Is it, you have to get a mod? Okay. I might do that. I might do that. See how hard it is, because... You know if you can do it after you started the game already? Hold on. So I would love to be able to use the blur... Or not... <laughs> not use the blur, but... Use the speed without the blur, it's just really annoying. Oh, it's in the Steam Workshop. Nice. Yeah, I want to play... I also want to play it like vanilla. I like playing how the games were um, originally intended, you know? Oh, that's right. I did see as well. Um, there's there's something in the Steam Workshop that like... basically It's basically like a DLC for the game. It was like re-released -re or something? It's like some extra planets. Okay, something like that. I might end up doing that in like my... Second playthrough, though. Oh, that's right. These fucking healing droids. Old bastard. Eight inch droid. I have to get it. Okay. Uh, let me let me put this in my notes. Cause yeah, I wanted to figure. Fix the speed thing, and then whatever. The, do you know what that's called? What? Is it just? It'll just be like DLC. Get mod DLC. I, I did. I did see. So I was like looking at. Basically, I didn't want to split. I don't, I don't try to spoil games for myself, but I, when there's choices of, like, different classes in games, I just try to figure out what, you know, obviously what class I want to play. So while I was looking for that... Close to something big. I think it's the main ventilation shaft. If so, the central droid controller should be somewhere nearby. Keep an eye out for it. I'm picking up a lot of droids. If you still have a mining energy shield, I'd equip it and switch it on. Restored content mod. Okay, let me write that down. Anyways, yeah, I saw that, and then I saw that there was, I guess... It was like a controversial planet or something. I guess people said it's just not worth it. I'm not sure what that planet was called.
Can you look that up to controversial planet? I kind of I kind of want to do it though. I want to see why it's so controversial. So maybe that's not so important. Yeah, is that the only reason it was controversial? Just because it's not very good. Yeah, I'd like to see, to see for myself what's, what the big deal is. Uh, I mean, can we do anything about the sensor balls? I'm just, I was just gonna smash everything down here. Okay, we were doing all right against them. I'm not really that worried. I am playing on easy as well. I like to play on easy because I'm I'm bad, and I'm just in it for the story for the most part, just for fun, you know. I'm not really looking for a challenge per se. Okay. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate. You accepting my being terrible at Vigi games. <laughs> I used to be growing up, I would literally like I'd play games as play games just for fun to the point of just like in games like Spider Man, I would just swing around. I would never do any of the missions or like the Tony Hawk games, I would just skate around <laughs> like I used to make my cousin so angry. That's another reason why, like, you'll, you'll, you'll probably find me playing older games for the most part, is I never finished them <laughs> when I was younger. I would just dick around. Like, I didn't actually start completing games until, like, like within the last few years, really. It's a lot of fun though. I, I kind of missed out, but at the same time, I was just having fun as a kid, so. And I, I definitely couldn't play games like that now. Yeah. Simpler times. Like, I would, I would get really bored, I think, if I played a game like that now. <laughs> Field container functions, shut down fields, yes. Alright. Let's fork these droids up. Need to keep an eye out for the floating ones. Them, re them re repair droids. Yeah, actually, recently I got a. I downloaded. Like, PSX2. It's a the PlayStation 2 emulator and I got SSX 3 and that game is fun as fuck doesn't it it does not control as well as I I remember it controlling maybe that's the emulator it's fault you know but bro <laughs> the game is so good I miss those games so much I played every once in a while what games have, have have I been playing? Um, or on stream or I guess I can just answer both. So I played through Lego Star Wars, um, the new one. It was really really good. I didn't come, like 100% it, but I did all the missions at least. I guess maybe not the side missions, but they didn't really seem worth it. Um, what did I play before that? Uh, dra I played Dragon Age Inquisition. Fully played through that. Um, I ch and then I tried. Uh, I tried my best to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but goddamn, that game is way too long and just not good. Like this, it's just the story is not good. 
<laughs> now we're talking emulators, yeah. That's the only one I've ever done, and I was really worried about it. I was worried I was going to get a virus or something. But maybe I do have one, I don't, I don't know about it, but we're chilling for now. A nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have any other... I would just always would be wanting to play SSX, the snowboarding games. Or like Tony Hawk. But more the more the SSX games. I don't know why, but they're just more fun to me. Uh, and there was what was that game? It was fun for like two seconds. <laughs> it's some extreme sports game that came out not too long ago that made me really, really want to play SSX. And uh, yeah, I had to snag it. Super butt. They are super butt. Can confirm. I feel like I didn't have to kill all these things. I was just mindlessly killing them while talking. I, I tend to do, tend to do that. It's fun though. Let's try to open these doors. But I I also got um. <laughs> I got under, uh, need, for, need for Speed Underground 2 and I'm terrible at it. Like I couldn't... I think I, th I think it's... I don't want to blame... I don't want to put the blame on something other than myself because I'm terrible at all games, but I couldn't finish the first race for the life of me. Like I tried it like 10 times. <laughs> and like I think the controls are kind of wonky, maybe. Xenoblade? I think I had... Xenoblade on my Switch. Or is it only on the Switch, maybe? Almost done. Yeah, I'm not that big of a fan. That's like a uh like a JRPG, right? Like an Asian art style kind of game. I don't remember why I got it. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that stuff, but I have been getting into more anime. I gotta be like in a in a certain mood to watch it though. And I, I, I don't know why, I just cannot stick with games. Yeah. Everybody has their own taste. Whatever you've detected, it's, it's my fault, yes. I may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do down there, make it quick, because where you are is going to get real hot real soon. Ah, shit. Okay, looks like we gotta go this way. Can I deal with these mines first? I can actually pick them up now. But yeah, I've I've been enjoying. Um, I watched like all of yeah all of Hunter Hunter. I really enjoyed it up until like the bug, the bug people arc. That was kind of weird. Oh shit, they're attacking me. All right, bring it on, fools. <laughs> Also, is this critical strike the best attack to be using right now? Seems like it. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Valhalla... I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about that game. It was... fun... I guess... <laughs> For a little bit it was fun, but it, yeah. It, I think I got to a point where I, it literally was like, okay, 
uh, the game is obviously coming to an end. Like you conquered all the areas or whatever. There's nothing left to do on the on the board. And at that point, it was like I think I was like 60 or 70 hours in, into the game. I was just like, all right, I'm I'm ready for this game to be over. <laughs> I had my fun with it. Kind of getting bored of it. And then it just like launched into a whole nother. I don't know, chapter of the game, and I'm just like, alright, I can't. Sorry. Can't do it. <laughs> I don't think I'll even I don't I'm not interested in going back and finishing it, but yeah, there's if if you want to uh if you'd like to watch more of my stuff, I have it all on my YouTube. Uh, if you'd like to do exclamation point YouTube, find it, or you can just search uh, Viscla on YouTube. You should should be able to find it. I'm the only one. Picked a unique un picked a unique name on pur on purpose. Yeah, and there's DLC too. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> I'll probably what Sentinel appears to be damaged. Okay, I can blast it open. Um, I'll probably go back and play, I think Assassin's Creed 2 is probably like the pinnacle, right? I never played that. How I said, well, I think I might have, but I, I think I was just attacking people. <laughs> like I was like trying to fight all the guards at once. That's what I liked to do back then. Um, I do, I, I would like to play that again at some point. I think, yeah, Assassin's Creed 2 is supposed to be like the pinnacle of the older, older style combat. Steam Deck, that's like a handheld, right? Pleasure to see you alive, Master, provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be of assistance? Uh, is this our droid? Hello? The fuck? But yeah, so... I'm not big on... I'm not big on the handhelds. Uh, this... this... Steam Deck, you can play PC games on it? Is that what I'm... I think I've heard that? Yeah, I'm not your master. Like, what are you? What are you talking about, Droid? Well, sir, I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were, Master. With the unexpected termination of my previous master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Ooh, emulators sound pretty cool. What, what kind of emulators can you can you have on the the handheld? I would love to have. Yo. Although I don't really travel all that much, not right now. It'd be so. All of them. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, I would love to have SSX on a handheld. That'd be really cool. Yeah, it'd definitely be really cool. For like, I don't know, plane rides or, or something like that. How much are they? Or did you say... To get here, so they've, they've come out. Yeah, I, I, bu I bought a Switch. Oh man, it's kind of pricey. Um, yeah, I bought a Switch when I was in the military because I was assuming that I'd be like traveling all the time, but I played it once. <laughs> I think I I took it on a trip to a Comic Con, and that's it. And I was like playing Pokemon. It wasn't that fun. I don't know. But yeah, it's just in my closet somewhere now. I haven't touched it since. <laughs> so I don't I don't I don't think I should spring for something like that right now. Yeah. 
Plus, um, so yeah, I was in the military for like five years. It wasn't for me. And now I'm out living off my, uh, my GI Bill while I'm going to school. It's not quite paying for everything. So I'm, I've been slowly losing money, but I'm really enjoying myself. Kind of taking like a sabbatical, you know, taking some time off. Just perfect because I just started streaming as well. Um, perfect time to do this and just, you know, take a break a bit. I didn't think I would be able to. I thought I would have to like get out and get a job immediately, which I maybe should have. <laughs> but uh, I think I have at least a few more months of just, just hanging out, you know, uh, aside from class. So I have like two to three classes usually. But I've been doing all right in them. Yeah, it's been really nice. And I have a... Uh, since I was in the military for like five years and I was an electrician, uh, I have like really good credentials. So uh, my dad, he works with, or no, not his pastor. Uh, he, he works at one of the local colleges and he told me as soon as I need a job, I got it. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's, I don't know. I, th I feel like my parents, have been like kind of judging me a bit. They're like, now nah, you should probably get a job. Or they're like worried that, or they keep joking like, oh, we're going to have someone living in our basement soon. <laughs> Which I mean, if that happens, it happens. I'm like really priv privileged to be in that position, but I really don't want to not for obvious reasons. Like being on your own is very good, very preferable. <laughs> Their house is kind of crazy too. They have like a bunch of dogs and stuff and my aunt lives there as well. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, who's this guy's previous master? Avenger Master, I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. Aha. Yes, what what had happened? An irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. Well, this guy is sassy. I guess I have some other questions. Course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Yeah, how do we get out of, get out of here? Pitying answer. Oh, that is unfortunate, Master. The hangar is sealed behind a containment field. It would be impossible to open it. Impossible? I doubt. I doubt this. Clarifying query. Did the T3 unit go through the door? I regret ignorance of that fact, Master. Although the door could have been opened from the opposite side without much difficulty, a flaw in the emergency lockdown procedure, which the automated systems have most likely corrected. Hmm, a bug in the system, huh? Answer. Only the Paragus administration officer would have such codes, Master. If he hasn't already been murdered in an unfortunate accident, then he is trapped in the dormitory section, which has been effectively cut off from the facility by explosives. Can we contact him? Apology. Unfortunately, communication with the dormitory section. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, seems like you already found it, but if you need it, if you need a link, uh, exclamation point Discord should get it for you. 
the severed comm link would have spared us the satisfaction of hearing the miners' screams as they lived out their last moments in fear and terror. Sick. Yep, yeah, I mean, uh, so my community is pretty small at the moment, <laughs> which is totally fine. I'm not really that worried about it. Uh, we're just, we're just, ch we're just chilling. We're hanging out. Uh, Johnny live. All right. All right. Um, but I've, I've become a staple of a bigger streamers community. So, uh, they like to raid over here every once in a while. Uh, they're really cool. Uh, very Darian is the name of the streamer. Uh, the best community I've found on Twitch so far. Like, so much fun. Everyone's so cool. Yeah. So you probably, you'll probably, probably see a lot of people from there. In there and around these parts, so, yeah. Feel free to host some dank maymays in there, or got pets or whatnot. Love to see them. There must be another way! walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous, and I do not wish to see you damaged. I'll dispose of them and leave this rock? Is he talking about the people? Damn, that's dark. <laughs> no, we need to help them. Warning. Master, continued exploration of this facility may place I must see the pets. That's a lot of dogs. I encourage you to return to the medical Damn. bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. Yeah, I just have one kitty cat. She's sleeping. I can't pick her up. Well, I guess I can. She doesn't really like it, though. Maybe you'll catch her around somewhere. There's a there's a picture in the pet section, but uh, yeah, she's a rescue, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened to her, but yeah, she really doesn't like being held, sadly. But she's a good cat. She likes to protect me from bugs. Now that it's like getting towards summertime, or like just the beginning of summertime, uh, I've been getting a lot of bugs in here. There was a spider like this big on my wall in the middle of the night. And she woke me up <laughs> she's like master master you're gonna die <laughs> so in like she's not a very vocal cat either and i've learned now that when she does meow like something's wrong like there's a big ass spider trying to get me or something usually it's just like bugs and stuff yeah i feel like yeah Maybe it's just some cats as well. Like they did, maybe they didn't go through like any trauma or anything. They just don't like being picked up, which is understandable. Cats are very like moody, very complex uh, creatures compared to like dogs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, they have moods for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna find these miners. Are you gonna help me? Is the question. Another suggestion I'll turn you to scrap. <laughs> yeah, no, is this guy gonna help me or what? Very well, Master, but there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. Okay. Yes. Oh, I Let's get this code. The code master, but Why didn't you say that? that it will do you no good. Why are we talking about the code if it's not going to help? This guy's expression is yes. Like what? What are you talking about? Condescending explanation. Condescend. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock. His voice printed, musing. 
In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols bordering on paranoid obsession, conjecture. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility, he voice locked the droid bay functions. A prudent measure, but in the end, he met the same fate as the rest of the organics. What a dick. Why did he voice print it? Maybe we get a voice recording of him somehow. Condescending explanation. Oh, yes. I'm gonna slap this right across the face. Is maintenance control voice print ID R1 B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. <laughs> yes, please stop saying condescending to me. Please. kind of like it actually it's kind of funny <laughs> so we'll leave it yeah how can we get the Master, you voice cannot. you are trapped here just as I am there is nothing to do except patiently wait for whatever the future has in store for us I will not settle for this there's some th there must be something we can do what other course, questions can I ask? How may I be of assistance? Mm, do, do we already ask all the questions about the voice? Condescending explanation. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and muse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so, um... This will search around. I feel like we have to get some sort of... I have, I have. Me and, me and Johnny here uh, are very excited for the remake. And we'll be playing it. I don't know if it, I'm gonna play it on on stream or not. We'll have to see what the analytics, you know, like how many people are streaming it, whatnot. If I'm gonna be able to be found, that kind of thing. Uh, I would love to. I would fucking love to. Like I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I cannot see them messing the game up. Really, like it's such a good game. It's just I don't know. It's a it, immediate win. Take my money. Uh, yeah. If I, yeah, if it's like too populated, uh, when it first comes out, as far as streaming it goes, I'll probably play it again, uh, like a second time on stream at some point, so don't worry about that. Is there a trailer now? Is there something other than the... I, I, I haven't seen a trailer. I just saw the like release announcement where it shows uh, Revan. Is there an, is there like a whole long trailer with like gameplay or something out? I'd love to see that if you if you wouldn't mind. Uh... Oh, teaser. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I think that's all that's out right now. It's that little tidbit with Revan. No, it's fine, it's fine. I was... <laughs> yeah, I am so ready. As soon as that comes out, I will for sure react to that. And I love... guys, so... I love reacting to things, so if you have any like cool and funny videos, don't be afraid to share them. I'd love to watch them. It's very fun. Good content as well. Easy to throw those on YouTube. My, uh... Yeah, my reacts surprisingly have been get getting a lot of traction. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you, but seem to do pretty well. I'd like to throw at least like one a week up. Seems to be easy. Shh. 
shit. These guys look scary. Big boys. Oh, oh. Uh, let's try this aura. Oh shit, we're almost dead too. Can we level up? Will that heal us? Uh, I don't know what to do here. I guess... I think I tried to do all of them. But we only have one point. My constitution? Gives us the most defense. It's probably what we need the most right now. Yes, we wanted to get this stuff to... I, which I think we did. No, this one needs to be. Yeah. Okay. Computer use. Yep. Awareness. Persuade. Security. Yeah. Uh, and then treat injury. Probably good. I'm not really sure what to get here now. Oh yeah, we uh. Just throw lightsaber work with Viber Swords, guys. And or gals. Sorry. If you are and or other. I wanna assume your genders. First Valor. Cause if the I'm just gonna get it. I think I can undo abilities. Nice. I love that. The clutch, uh... The clutch heal with leveling up. It's very nice. Oh, how do I... Saber throw? Hmm, it probably doesn't work with Viber Blades, huh? That's fine. It's totally fine. Nice. I was a little bit worried these guys would be, like, super strong. Let's go. God, this is such a chill game compared to, like, all the other games I've streamed so far. I could easily do six-hour streams, I think. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling at my usual time. Usually I only do four hours. We'll see, we'll see. Six hours is, I think, ideal. I wouldn't want to do any longer than that. Let's see, it's over here. Okay, a bunch of healing bots. Hmm. Go ahead and put our force aura on. Can we do that? Yeah, how do you cancel stuff? There we go. Oh, she just exploded in my face. Oh, there's the there's the lightsaber throw. It's I probably shouldn't have used that, because I was just going to regen my health. But yeah, man, compared to, like, all these other action games I was playing, like, it's, this is so chill. Just clicking things every once in a while. Locked, okay. I think I made a really good choice on this game right now. Happy with it. Destroy the console. Usually the things that require spikes is what you want to get to. 
right? Maintenance logs. The emergency system has been was been opening things recently. Check for exits. Can we open the airlock at all? Is the comm system broken? Yeah, someone broke all the damn comm systems. I don't understand. Access cameras. Am I supposed to destroy this? Would that open something? Try the turbo lift first, I guess. Does this take me back to this this the main area? Yeah. I don't think this is where we, where we want to be, is it? We'll talk to what's his nuts and see. If that's what we're supposed to do. Aton. Found anything? Mm hmm We gotta save the miners if we can. So they are still alive. But the dormitory comm isn't picking up anything. Is there any way to get to them? Yes, the voice print is locking the airlock. Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak the code. And he's dead, right? He big dead, yeah. There's ways to beat voice prints, though. If you can get samples of his voice and the right words, you should be able to fake the voice print code, if you know what it is. You know, I overheard the maintenance officer getting chewed out by the security officer. You might want to check the security office on this level and see if there's any voice samples stored in the logs. And maybe there's samples of the code in the maintenance officer's hollow logs, if you can find a way to record them. Yeah, we know the code. That sounds promising. Well, that's a start. See if you can find any recordings where the maintenance officer is speaking, and try to piece together the words to unlock the voice print. Yeah? Did you blow it up? <laughs> Alright. Uh, what did he say? What did he say for us to do? Yep. Sonic imprint sensor. You might be able to record pieces of the maintenance... Hollow logs. Okay. Where were the hollow logs? Let's go continue to explore down here. Oh yeah, look through these maintenance logs. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Nice. I think we're going to get our voice commands here. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. 
It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Okay. We had to use this sonic sensor special option. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter, but I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. So we added an entry. You were able to get the third. Okay. So we still need more. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi and Medbay. I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. Did not know that what happened to Revan. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick, but I don't think Korda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids, and they weren't too happy with my answers. I don't understand it, though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility, and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Uh, that's a good question. All right, did we get the rest of them? Oh wow, okay. Well, I guess we gotta get some different logs from different places around here. It's alright. That airlock, isn't it? Yeah. Just check in here. Huh. Hello. Big droid man. So it seems like we might be able to use a saber throw for far enough away. We'll try that next time. No console in here. Not sure why I would need to open that door. I don't think I do. Don't think I do. I might need to disable. I need to disable those force fields. From that other that console back there somehow. What is this? Did we come in through here? So maybe we did, but it's sealed behind us. You can just check if there's any any way to do this over here. Let's we'll save. Saved in a while. Will that say hangar bay? Cutting me off from the hangar bay, but don't see any way to open it. Let me try. Let's see if there's some way to open those. 
from this thing. You know, I'm gonna. S <laughs> I think I'm gonna destroy this to see if it. Hey, I was worried that that <laughs> wasn't gonna work. Glad I saved though. It's Ooh, I didn't see this. That'd be cool if it had like a chance to fail, and then you're kind of fucked. Yeah, I was I was very cur curious about that. If uh destroying it would open stuff. Cuz it is weird that it would give you that option and that, that it would not work, you know? Mm, yes. Put on a space suit. How does one equip the spacesuit? Maybe we just have to have it on us, and then we are able to go. That makes sense. Automatically puts it on for us. Yeah. Look at us go! Oh shit, we're fast as fuck. Hey. That's kind of worrying. It kind of takes a second for us to slow down. I guess you can just turn around. Um. Go, 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 go! Oh, we took some damage. It's alright, I think. Whoa. Hopefully you can't walk off the edge here. The controls are not ideal. <laughs> Let me wave it at add-on. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior oh, nice. facility. On the asteroid surface. That can't be right. Oh, it's right. Huh? What are you doing out there? Oh, just taking a stroll, you know. Hey, can you stop fussing at me and just turn off the fucking flames, please? <laughs> That's what I wanted to tell you. The few remaining venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragas fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Hmm. Yeah, why are they- why, who designed this? <laughs> why are they so close? And shouldn't they be like melting the, the scaffolding? I can't. I'm locked out of the main systems here. I couldn't shut it down if I tried. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... Now what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. Oh, what? A bad feeling about this. Oh, shit. There's a trap. Looks like a good ship, though. Kind of. Well, that doesn't look good. That's not good. It's a stolen ship, if anything. That's a bad guy. I'm like 90% sure. It's easy to spot a bad guy by his 
crusty ass skin. <laughs> Clearly been corrupted. You think he chooses to keep his shirt off to intimidate people? Like, to intimidate people with his crusty skin? Such a power move if that's the case. Actually, just impressed. That'd be so scary. It's like, uh, hello? <laughs> Giant ass ship. Looks like he's gonna ram into it. Oh. Very hard to gauge the depth of that. Looked like the guns were gonna ram into the side there. What's it docking into? It's like docking into the... Okay, again. The depth on that is wonky looking. Looked like it was about to dock into the base of that turret. This is very involved process. Kind of appreciate it. Kind of seems extra, but oh. Okay, um I'm gonna continue this way. <laughs> Hopefully evil man doesn't jump out and kill me. Looks a good good time to save. so funny how <laughs> I don't think I have any speed boost on but that's just like the animation they went with just da -da 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 -da. I appreciate the humor okay yeah it only works with lightsabers that's fine we'll survive somehow I wonder if I'm like wasting time using my force abilities. Like that's the reason we got him, right? Yeah, hopefully I can figure out how to turn off this blur. That'd be a lifesaver. Hello. Howdy howdy, big metal man gonna slice you up. Don't don't mind me. Okay, you kinda doing a lot of damage and we missing. Uh oh. Alright, we're gonna med pack up. Before we die. Do a couple more. There we go, that's good. Uh we don't need that one. Nice. I need to remember that health regen is a thing. <laughs> Not waste. Not waste my med packs. We got some glove. Oh yeah, we had gloves and we didn't we get the armor perk? Did we get that? Need to check in a second. If not, those might be some light gloves. Let's see. Hmm.
I'm thinking just base defense rather than percentages is probably better. Hard to tell. We'll go with that, though. Um, or I guess we could see what they look like as well. Go for style over function. It's always cool. Yeah, let's throw a second shield. 200 seconds. Heat and electrical. It's probably better. So which ones we got? We got the... Kazirik Defense Gauntlets. Those looking like... Plain-ass gloves. What's this other one look like? They look the exact same. So... I think we're gonna go with the defense ones. Seems like a way to go. Was there anything else we can equip? We can get a blaster, but that's not really our style. Now is it? Okay. Yeah. We could probably craft something, but eh. We'll we'll cross that road when we feel like it's necessary. Okay, hello. Fire extinguisher. Hmm. Curious. Hasn't spotted us yet. Oh shit. Fire extinguishers freeze us, I guess. Damn, our accuracy has not been great. Oh hell. Fully frozen here. Where did my med packs go? Adrenaline, okay. Shit, are we about to die? Need to be unfroze. Med pack, go! Please use. We thriving and surviving. Damn it. Yeah, bastard, why you gotta freeze me like this? Attack. It like stuns me and resets my abilities, I think, every time it hacks me. It's annoying. Very rude of them. Let's see if we can't snag these mines. I wish I'm I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure there is no what was that accuracy you probably need that I uh, have some upgrade or like crafting thing I think oh, hello Damn, those fucking like freeze wi freeze ray or whatever they do really fucks me up. It completely stops my attacks that I've queued up to pay attention. It's alright, you gotta figure it out.
I don't know if there's any way we can break out of this, though. It'd be helpful if we could figure out a way to do that. If I had to guess, it'd probably, probably be by moving? Maybe? Which I have turned on. I, I remember seeing an option that you had to turn on move while in combat, which isn't really that effective. Useful? Unless we can break out of stuff. We can try next time. We get frozen. Alright, kill this guy first because he's gonna freeze us. We'll try anyway. Oh shit, we're about to die. There's a lot of these dudes. Shit. Just resetting my stuff. I forgot. Uh oh. You better heal. Come on, come on. Get one more, because we're probably going to take more damage. There we go. Alright. Get rid of these. Shit. Why can't I get it through my head that every time they freeze me, I gotta reset my attacks? <laughs> I'll learn it sometime. Alright, cool, we got him. Kill this guy without dying. Needing another or needing another med pack. Nice. Oh man. Another turret. Mm, well let's heal up first. I don't think it's attacking us yet. There are two in there. There is. Alright, I'm gonna check this terminal. Ed Q? Ed Q? Is that, is that how you say your name? How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you haven't been sitting there too long. Sorry, I was... <laughs> those guys are freezing me and really messing up my my combat flow. Need to learn how to, do, how to deal with them a bit better. My cat's tickling my foot. How are you doing today? We're just getting into the, into the game. Learning how to play. It's been pretty fun. Oh, let's repair it, see what we can do here. Duty shift logs, access remote camera. Yeah, let's end the lockdown. Probably open some stuff up. Alright. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I kind of wanted to continue this way, though. Just was waiting for my health to re... My health to come back. Uh, probably search over here while that happens. Although we might run into some more droids, yep. That's fine. It's totally fine. No need to panic. I was worried I was being poisoned. Might be. Yeah. 
Uh, probably shouldn't go through there, huh? Uh, Okay, I need some kind of code, I guess, to, to turn off the poisons. Some loot in there, though. Oh well, we'll come back. You've already completed KOTOR 2? Did you mean 1? Because this is this is the second one. I highly yeah, either of the games I highly recommend. They're very fun, very well made. Everything's very thought out. The story is amazing. The combat's very chill, very enjoyable. Quite challenging it could be at times. I'm playing on easy, still getting some challenge. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I definitely I think it's like only nine dollars right now too. So. Yeah, go for it. You enjoyed the first ones for sure. I'm already having a blast with this game. It's so good. The combat is a bit different. I'm pretty sure, at least from what I remember, because correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if you just played the first one, but uh, in the first one you had like a ability bar, I think, and you kind of attacked like an MMO, but kind of, kind of. Uh, Turn-based, if you wanted it to be. This one is a bit different, but it's it's similar. I don't know why they changed it. I do prefer. I think I preferred the combat from the first one a bit. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about this poison. Maybe a shield would protect me. We'll cross that road when we get, when we get there. Yeah, these games are great. Very, big fan, big fan. These fire extinguisher extinguisher droids have been absolutely destroying me. Destroying me. They keep freezing me and like pausing my attack. Like every time they freeze me, I lose my. Attack Q. Really annoying. Ah oh, shit, I need to kill this guy. I was wor I thought maybe he wouldn't wouldn't bother us. Shit. And now we're frozen. Can't do anything for a while. Come on. Where's my accuracy right now? There we go. Alright, I better heal, my, heal myself before I get full froze. Yep. Let's get one more in there. Alright. Back to attacking. Come on. Please die. Oh shit. Yeah, like that, I, I keep forgetting it cancels my attacks. I can't get it through my thick ass skull, but I need to <laughs> re restart my attacks every time I get blasted. It's freeze ray or extinguish juice. That sounds weird. Nice. Got him. Try to blow this thing. Hey. Shit, what did I get? Did I get some armor there? Or a shield? Probably just another shield. 
Do you start off with force powers? Uh, this is pretty much the beginning of the game, and yeah, yeah, like your first option, you can you can get a force power. Um, yeah, you're like all, already a Jedi, but you don't have don't have a, a lightsaber on you. <laughs> but yeah, I can't remember in the first one. Do you start out as a Jedi? I don't think you do. I think you have to earn it or you get trained, right? Cause yeah, I already have like a force barrier and speed. Oh shit, it didn't do it. Okay, hold on. Takes care of you. I need to look around for some. Is there any healing healing droids in here? I don't think so. I like to throw those in there. Kind of hard to see sometimes. Yo. I level up. What did I do? What did we do? Oh god. Here we go. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, I don't remember that, but I remember it being pretty fun, still. Like, the first one for sure was one of my favorite games of all time. I don't know why I said was one, because it still is. <laughs> like, it's such a good game. And this is just continuing that, if not better. I think it probably has slightly better graphics. Hard to say, though. I played that... I played the first one, like, years and years ago. I have noticed that there's, like, moving hair and stuff in this, which is kind of nice. I gotta say also, just in general, like, the graphics kind of hold up. Like, it's... they're not bad at, by any means at all. Remind me of, uh... What's that? Did I get some gloves? It reminds me of, kind of like, Half-Life? No, it's just a shield. Should level up, though. Um... Yeah, let's go security, this, continue to up. I think I'm just upping tree injury, security. R repair might be another one, but we don't really need that right now. Yeah, computer use. I think I want security before the computer. Yeah. Oh, they're maxed, I think. I think. Maybe just for this level, though. Yeah, it's such a like. I was just saying, like I've been I've been uh, streaming some more like action oriented games, and this is such such a chill game. Um, if I if I probably would have had like a better night's sleep, I would probably continue for another couple hours, just because it's so chill, you know. But uh, I am kind of tired, so I'll probably be signing off here soon. But uh, oh, My headphone died. That's all right. We don't need it right now. Just let me know if you can't hear me. <laughs> it's the only, only reason I had my head my headphone connected. Anyways, let's see what else we can grab here. We got this. Can we... Ah, so you can't respec. That's fine. We'll make use of that in, at some point. Mind trick... Reinforce. Uh, force push. I 
Maybe we go for like a droid stun or something. Shock is kind of good. Hey, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I'll be back. Um, probably gonna level up here and then end. But yeah, I'll be I'll be back. Uh, what Friday and then Saturday. I stream three days a week. Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday is at two a.m. EST. So love to have you back around. If you have enjoyed yourself this short while. Here. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of don't like shock, but I feel like it's really effective against droids, maybe. I know there's, um... I know that there's some ability that it heals you while you attack. I really want that. Sounds amazing. This is my favorite thing in any, any RPG. Been meaning to like try to with droid stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of droids in this area, so I'm thinking maybe a droid stun. What's this? Character to use their own health. No, we don't want to drain our own health. Yeah, droid stun sounds pretty good. We have two kind of one is definitely a defense, and then the second one is kind of a defense and speed increase, so. Energy res resistance. It's power shields. Oh, here's another. We could probably use this. I'm trying to, because I, I remember I remember the first game being pretty challenging. So far, actually, this is kind of challenging too, uh, even though I'm on easy, so I'm going for like a tank build so I don't fucking die. <laughs> Ooh, Force Valor kind of sounds good. Seems like a all party members by two points. It, it incre increases physical act attributes by two. I think that's to everything, so... I think we'll go, go for that one. And we might use that in the force field over the speed. Yeah, I'd... I can't remember what I had to do in the first one. I think I had to, like, respec at some point. Because I was getting my ass handed to me. Or maybe I had to go, like, level up. I had to, like, Go grind somewhere. Good choice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, like I said, just trying to trying to get the buffs in, you know, so don't friggin' frickin' die. Um, yeah, let's do one more fight or something. I want to try the force valor in the force field. I think I only have enough force to use two things at a time right now. I also went with the... I can't remember what the name is, but it's... Ooh, did I get a mask or something? What was that? I swear it said mask. Breath mask. Oh, yo, I think we can use that to, uh... Standard issue gear. Variety of gas attacks, yo. Clutch. Let's put that on. And we can go in that gas area. Sick. Yeah, I also love how these games seemingly don't have don't have like a limit to your inventory. It's pretty good. I don't understand that in games. <laughs> like, don't make me... Like, just let me collect everything. Is that... Is that too much to ask? Why do I have to be... Encumbered? Don't, don't put realism in my game, please. Not annoying realism, anyways. Like, durability and stuff? Not a fan. 
think there's no need. Nobody asked for this. Maybe somebody did, but I didn't. Let's open this door. What? We have a code for it. Mm, the wrong code. Let's slice it. Okay. Why was it an option <laughs> if it doesn't have doesn't have the port? Enter code manually. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. Not ready for this. Uh, Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Well. Let's see what had happened. Oh. Well, they did. Also, thank you for for telling me I have a nice butt. It's really, you know, it's flattering. You know, I don't know how you can tell, but you have been told that before. <laughs> Just kidding. Which choice? Oh, I I was uh, mainly light side on any game where uh, you can choose to be like good or evil. I usually lean more towards good. Uh, I like to just make decisions as if I was there myself, like what I would do. I like to think I'm, um, you know. At least chaotic good. <laughs> so yeah. I was light side. And probably will be light side in this. If there's sass that I can do, I'll do that though. It's usually funny. Um... Okay, can we re remember this code for me? 7513173. 7513173. Seven, seven, shit. Shit, that was the wrong one. <sighs> seven, five, thirteen, seventeen, three. Oh, is it gonna work now? Why didn't it work the first time? Never mind. Oh, okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh yeah, is, is home dog gonna board the ship? Is he gonna fuck me up? Oh, hello. Yeah, that's my favorite kind of games. Like, I think technically it's like choose your own adventure, kind of. In some cases, you can like unlock certain missions in some games, but Basically, yeah, if you can choose what to say in conversations and it like changes either your character or the story of it, it's, yeah, my favorite kind of games. Hmm? Why is it skipping what she's saying? It's like, almost like I have a key stuck down or something. Alright, we don't have much time to talk, okay. Okay, let's go. If we cannot reach there we go. The Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that is docked here. Ooh, okay, we finally got a party member. Nice. What abilities does, does she have? What is level it? Up. This is not the Uh sorry. Didn't mean to talk to her. Just auto level her up. And I just auto level the party members. Just for speed. Energy resistance. Okay. I don't know if that's technically force speed or not. Burst of speed. I think that's pretty pretty much the same thing. Aggressive. Jedi support? Probably. She doesn't have healing. 
but what a weapon does she have? We'll have her as support. Maybe she can apply med kits to me or some shit. What is it? Sorry. I need to talk to you. Uh, were we just supposed to come back to get her? Yeah, I think we have to go back towards the dormitory. Yeah, I just want to do like one more bit of combat and then I think we're gonna sign off for the night. I should go check out. Check out the poisoned areas now. Now that we have this mask. Ooh, I don't know that we'll have to do it solo. I think. Let's see what this is. Hey, here's our combat. I think we want to do this. Oh. We want to do this and Valor. And then see if we have enough for the speed after that. I think so. We can try it. Let's see if we can get speed in there too. That would be helpful. Hey, we can! Sweet. We can use all of our abilities that we've had so far. Oh shit, I should probably give her a weapon, huh? <laughs> what could she use? Do we have another... Probably give her this too. And these gloves that I'm not using. A shield. I don't think we need stealth at all. I don't think it adds anything other than that. <laughs> Can she dual wield blasters? She can. That's crazy. That's funny. All right, anyways, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and save here. We're gonna find somebody to raid on over to. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Uh, let's see here. Who we have. Yeah, I'll, I will be back. Um, hey, kitty, why are you covered in stuff? What do you got all over you? Get down. She, she likes to tear down my stuff on my chair. Hey, thank you. That means a lot. It means a lot. Who should we raid here? Hmm. I think we'll raid LJ. He's a very cool dude. Taught me about everything about streaming. He has a really good YouTube channel. I highly suggest that if you guys are into streaming at all. Uh, da, da, da. I'm lost in my options here. Raid. Now you you guys can see the strings here. Hopefully I'm not doxing myself. I have to play this in uh, display mode. But yeah, I'll be back.